from the energy that brought you the science of sciences and the science in sciences. Nine to the ninth power of nine, supreme mathematics, African math magic, Ta technology, engineering applications of African sciences, and arc I tech, how to build a pyramid. Comes the fifth book, the fifth element, nine ether, ray, engineering. Since time immemorial, humanity has acknowledged the existence of a fundamental and quintessential element and energy that permeates the totality of nature. While the names, labels, stories, details, and explanations regarding this quintessential substance has changed over time, the concept has been present and prevalent in a variety of different cultural expressions, philosophies, theologies, ideologies, religions, theories, and sciences throughout history. In the English language, this quintessential substance is called ether, meaning pure air, clear sky, or to incinerate and burn. The word ether is also the etymological origin of the word Ethiopian. In ancient alchemy, ether was conceptualized as the fifth element after the four elements of earth, air, fire, and water. In Greek mythology, ether was personified as a primordial elemental god representing light, the upper air, and upper atmosphere, which was considered the realm of the gods. The personification of concepts related to alchemy and ether in Greek mythology was actually predated by ancient African concepts and cosmologies found in Egypt. In ancient Egypt, the primordial gods called the Eight Ogdog or Kiminu gave birth to the Nine Ennead or Sedjet, which include deities that personified the concepts related to ether including Atum or Ray, representing energy or light, Nut, representing the sky, as well as deities which personified the other four alchemical elements including Shu who represents air, Tefnut representing water, Yeb representing earth, and Satuk representing fire. If charted cyclically, the various personifications or transformations of ether energy from one form to another is comparable to what modern science now calls thermodynamics. The thermodynamic processes of ether were charted in the ancient science of alchemy and cultures around the world. The etymology of the word thermodynamic comes from the Greek word thermos meaning heat and dynamics meaning power. Thus, the word thermodynamics refers to the power of heat. In ancient African cosmology, the power of heat was personified as a goddess who was the daughter of the sun deity Ray named Sekhmet, whose name literally meant the powerful one. Amongst the southern Egyptians, Kushites, Nubians, and Central Africans, Sekhmet was synonymous to the name Nyabingi, the queen of queens and master of thermodynamic change. In modern science, the acceptance of concepts related to ether has undergone a metaphorical thermodynamic change over time as well. Since modern scientific theory grew out of ancient theologies, initially many of the early modern scientists accepted and acknowledged the existence of ether. Plato, Aristotle, and Isaac Newton all acknowledged and discussed ether in their writings. In the 1800s, various scientists tried to prove the existence of ether experimentally but were unsuccessful. By the 1900s, Albert Einstein's theories of relativity convinced most of the scientists at the time that ether was completely imaginary and did not exist. However, the death of early scientific concepts related to ether gave rise and rebirth to new modern scientific concepts which echoed the concepts related to ether of the past. Albert Einstein's theories which suggested that space was some type of medium actually introduced what is called relativistic ether and the Einstein ether theory. In addition to the scientific evidence that supports the existence of relativistic ether permeating space, other modern scientific concepts that are reminiscent of ancient ether concepts are string theory, the Higgs field, and dark energy. And so, we observe a correlation between the attributes of ether from ancient science and nine modern scientific concepts related to ether. From ancient science, nine attributes of ether are Ether permeates all of nature, the universe, and existence. Ether is primordial, essential, and fundamental. Ether exists in the outer space, the sky, and heaven. Ether exists within the upper air and atmosphere. Ether is related to breath and breathing. Ether is needed for life. Ether can incinerate and burn. Ether is related to light, and ether is associated with energy. The book, Nine Ether Ray Engineering, provides a scientific framework to teach the reader how to harness the power of ether. For more information, be sure to check out the book, 
9E Theray Engineering. Available at www.africancreationenergy.com.